All right, so we'll get started. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you may be. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us for our second training webinar. Uh, this is Sean with Flex here, and today we're going to go over the new Avant overview webinar. Uh, so this will be a tour of some new changes that have come with the Avant interface. I'm sure many of you have had a chance to kind of play around and check it out. Uh, but we'll touch upon on all the good things that are in the new Avant and uh, we'll get into greater detail soon. So if you should have any questions at any time during the webinar, uh, please go ahead and type those into the questions section. We'll be dedicating the last few minutes for questions and answers. So we'll be saving all of your questions until then. If we don't get to your question in time, then we'll try to curate those and answer those offline in an extended Q&A. So let's get started. So today's agenda, we're gonna go over the new look of Avant and what does the new dock look like. We're gonna take a look at what the new card looks like and we're gonna check out the new sidebar and figure out what that's all about. And then of course, uh, we'll figure out how to access the admin panel. And again, we'll have question and answers at the end. All right, so what is Avant? It's the new layout for your Flux instance. It's been updated to give it a sleeker look as well as improve performance. All of the buttons and the features from the old interface are still there, but some have moved a little bit. So the first section that we're gonna take a look at in the new Avant dashboard is the dock. So if you notice, the dock still lives at the bottom of your stage, but now it comes with a couple of neat new features. So as you can see, some of the icons are not there. They still exist in Avant, but we've moved them to a different area and we'll go over that in a little bit. Just like the dock from the standard dashboard, the icons that are highlighted in the light gray are the cards that will be, are the ones that are actually open and visible on your portion of your uh, stage. But one of the new features, the first new dock feature is the ability for it to expand as you add cards to your stage. The more cards that you add, the dock will just adjust its size and show you how many cards that you have open. The dock still retains the ability to jump to cards just by clicking on that card icon. So now it should be easier to navigate the cards that are open on your stage. The second new dock feature is the ability for you to close the cards directly from the dock. That's pretty cool. Simply hovering over that cards icon will bring up the little close or X button that we have highlighted there. Once you click it, it closes the card. So you can quickly, if you have tons and tons of, of cards open, like we saw on the previous slide, you can quickly close all the ones that you don't need. So one thing still left from the dock is the add a card menu. And that's the little plus that we see here, the little fly out that we have here highlighted. That's the add a card menu that you that pops up when you hover over or click on the plus sign. So this is the new home for a few things. The first is live reports, as we have annotated here. The second one is where your shared cards will live. And you'll have a drop down to choose the, the different shared card. And the last is where the, new, the generic templates live now as well. So if you were to click on any of the labels that we see here from registration to people to projects and so forth, uh, that, that's what's gonna open the card on your stage. If you click the green plus button right next to it, it's gonna open a new record for that model. Very similar as before. All right, so speaking of cards, let's take a look at what the new cards look like. So this is a card. 
with the list view of requests. Once the card has been added to your stage, you'll notice that you, it's received a little facelift. I'm gonna jump back one page. I wanna have you guys take a look at the green icon next to requests. That is a little icon for requests, but if you hover your mouse over it, it's gonna to change to a plus sign. So you can quickly add a new record for that particular card type. And of course, the minimize and the close buttons are on the same area in the top right of that particular card. But take a look at the new minimize card. Once you've minimized it, it's, you can click anywhere within that, uh, that column to open and expand that card again. So it's gonna save a lot of real estate on your dashboard if you need to minimize some cards. So now on the card, we're gonna get into the listing action tabs. It's a now, it's a menu that appears when you hover over the, the triple dots next to the search bar. We'll be going over the listing action tabs uh, further in a future webinar, but you can take a quick look that has all the same actions and views as before, but simply, accessed, or simply accessible by hovering over that triple dot. Now, once we're actually in a record on a card, as we see here, we have test organization open and the record is expanded. If we look at the bottom, the, the buttons are still the same, but now we use icons instead of text. And so as we have highlighted, uh, when you hover over a particular icon, it's going to fly out a little description of what that is. So it'll help get familiar with the icon. The first one that we have is add a note. The second is the trash can for delete. The third one is the star to mark it as your favorite. Of course, the print. And this is your share card icon. And finally, a new button, and that is the refresh record button. When you click on this icon, the system will reload that specific record. All right, and now if we take a look at the bottom right of those icons, we have the new workflow buttons. Uh, they've been streamlined as well. So the buttons now appear in their own menu and you can add a note right from that menu. If you have a record open, you can slide it back into the card the same way as before by clicking the hide details button. It's a little arrow pointing to the left there. Now that we've gone over the new look of the cards, we can get into the, the new connected data tab. The way you access a records connected data tab has changed. It's now a toggleable, if that's a good word, <laughs> button next to hide the details button. So that left arrow is the one we just talked about to slide that record back into the list view, but that magnet, it will open all the connected data cards for that record. So once you click on it, uh, it'll slide out the connected data tray and it'll show you a list of connected models with a count of how many connected records are there. Clicking on one of those models that has a record count will open a list of those records. Clicking on the model's name will bring up the list of connected models again. If you'd like to close a connected data tray, simply click on the magnet icon again. All right, so let's get into what the new sidebar is all about. As you can tell, we have highlighted over on the left of our stage, the sidebar. And with the Avant dashboard, you can now access all your dashboards, the universal search, and other options that used to be found in the cog menu in the upper right of the uh, old dashboard. You can click, to open the menu, you can click anywhere on that bar on the left side of the page. You don't have to click on the three lines specifically, just anywhere in that, that bar will open up and expand what you would see here. And this is what it looks like. So 
we zoomed in a little bit here. And so we have the dashboard name that you have in view. Um, and clicking on the arrow next to the current dashboard, that's gonna open the dashboard selector. So the dashboard selector works is the same way as the traditional one. In this menu, you have edit, new, and other dashboards that can be selected. Let's take a look at the edit button first. So the edit button has the same functionality as before. It allows you to share, delete, or rename existing dashboards that you're managing. You notice the, the share icon that we looked at before and the, the trash icon there. Now let's take a look into the new button. The new dashboard button also has the same functionality as before. It allows you to create a new dashboard or add a template or shared dashboard for you to use. If you want to change the dashboard type to graphing or visual visualizations, et cetera, you can get there by cl clicking the cog wheel from the stage. So once on that sidebar opens up, you see a little cog wheel down in the bottom right there we have annotated. Clicking that will open up what we see to the right where the arrow points to. Now, the universal search. That is a favorite feature for a lot of people to speed up how they're finding their records. Uh, it has moved from its original location, but it is directly underneath the dashboard that where the fly out on the side, when you click anywhere in that sidebar, you'll have that search bar right there. Clicking on it will bring up the traditional universal search bar that you guys all know and love. You can find the smart filter directly to the right of the universal search. Clicking on it will open the new smart filter menu. The new menu will show you the models that you have open on your current stage. Uh, clicking on the arrow next to the model will open the field selector. And once a field is selected, you could set the parameter for the filter. You can add additional fields by cl uh, clicking the green plus button. And as you probably saw earlier, the logout option can be found in the cogwheel from the flyout menu. So that sidebar menu. And when you click on that cogwheel, you're gonna see all the options and the logout we have annotated there. So now this is more um, for everyone who has admin privileges. Uh, you might be wondering you know, where you can access the admin panel. And that is just below the logout and help. So once you open the sidebar and click on the cog wheel, you can see the admin option right there. One of the best practices that we use in support is right click admin and open it in a new tab. That way you have the ability to quickly jump between tabs from your admin panel and your actual dashboard. All right, so this will conclude uh, today's Avant webinar. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If there were any features I did not cover extensively, we'll be hosting trainings in the future to address these features. Uh, you may also learn about these features by visiting our knowledge base. So let's take a look and open it up to any questions that have come in. All right. Okay, so we have one here. Um, do I have to use this dashboard? What if I, what if I really want to use the old dashboard? Um, that's a good question. Uh, you don't have to use it. Um, support can show you how to restore the standard dashboard if you would like. Uh, however, we do recommend using the Avant dashboard as our future releases are gonna have the Avant dashboard in mind. Um, and let's see if I can find, and there we go. So to quickly change it back to the non-Avant, 
click into your sidebar, uh, click the cogwheel, and right there you'll see standard. That will take you uh, a quick way to jump back to the standard one. Okay, looks like we have another question here. Uh, what are the advantages of using the Avant dashboard versus standard? Uh, well, we designed the new Avant interface to not only modernize the look and feel of Flux, but to leverage a lighter interface and reduce load times. So we're speeding up Flux, which is pretty awesome. And let's take a look here. All right. So uh, we have a question of how you can switch to the Avant dashboard. So uh, that is able to be found in your admin panel under general settings and global settings. On the right hand column, uh, there is a checkbox towards the bottom that uh, will reference enabling the Avant dashboard. If you have any questions with that, please feel free to reach out to us in support and we can help uh, get that all set up for you. Uh, we have a question here. What happened to my shared cards menu? I used to get a little notification that showed up on how many new shared cards I received at the top of my screen. You know, that is a great question. Um, we did touch upon that earlier, but just to recap, the, the new shared card section lives in the add card menu or where the plus button is on your dock. So if you hover over that plus button, the add card menu will be on the right hand side and it will show the, the little bubble with how many shared cards are there for you. Um, and then the drop down, of course, uh, is kind of cool because it'll consolidate and show all the different shared cards there just by hitting the drop down. Okay, uh, is Flux preparing any materials that we can use to help transition others, uh, other users on the team from the old dashboard to the Avant? Oh yes, definitely, that's a great question. Uh, please check our knowledge base soon for more training materials regarding the Avant dashboard. Um, we're gonna have that uh, out very soon. We wanted to get this webinar out uh, for everybody who had a chance to join, and then we'll be putting our documentation pretty soon. All right, so that looks like it's gonna wrap up the questions that we have for now. Um, if we didn't get to your question, we'll go ahead and try to answer that offline. Well, let's recap what we went over. We went over the new look of Avant. You know, we went over what the new dock looks like, what the new card looks like. We checked out the new sidebar panel, which holds your dashboard manager, the universal search, the admin, quickly changing to the standard or going into the graphing, a lot of cool stuff over there. And then we did touch upon how to access the admin panel and uh, best practice, again, uh, right click on that admin and open in a new tab. That way you have to quickly jump back and forth without having to reload it every time. All right, so to learn more and access the video recording of this webinar, please check out our knowledge base at flux.io slash knowledge. There you're gonna be able to find a list of our, all of our upcoming webinars, links to register for future webinars, and recordings of our past webinars under training webinars. Or, as always, feel free to reach out to us in support and we'd be happy to help you out. Um, I would like to just remind everybody on the community site under training, uh, there is a document there that we are asking for feedback on what is important to you, our users, uh, so we can craft a, a webinar in the future to help address those. All right, so I wanna thank everybody again for joining us today. We really hope that we get a chance to host you again for our next training. And you guys all have a great rest of your day and great rest of your week. Take care, guys.